Welcome to your quick yoga practice to help open up the chest and the shoulders. So let's get started with a nice cleansing breath. This is a great thing to do also as a standalone practice anytime there's any built up emotion or you just want to let go of the day. But it also is a nice little opener for the front of the chest. So it's a three part inhale and a nice cleansing breath through the mouth. And I'm going to combine this with arm movements and I encourage you to join in with that as well. And I'm going to just demonstrate what it looks like and then feel free to join in when you're ready. So it looks like an inhale, an inhale, inhale, and then exhale through the mouth as those arms drop. So. So feel free to join in when you're ready. Stay soft through those knees. I'm just doing a little bit of a bouncing in place here. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one. And then just let those eyes drop close. Let the arms dangle. Just take a nice deep breath in and out through the nose. With your next inhale, letting those eyes gently flutter open. We're going to start to bring some lubrication to our shoulder joints. So let's start by drawing those shoulders up towards the ears, forward and down. So doing some shoulder circles here. Just letting these circles be in tune with your breath. So maybe an inhale for half the circle and an exhale for the other half. Slow, steady breaths. And you can choose to keep doing these shoulder rolls, or maybe you're going to take the hands to the shoulders and start to draw some circles with the elbows. Going with your range of movement here, as big or as small as feels comfortable. And you might choose to stay with the shoulder rolls or with these elbow circles, and maybe you're going to, if you have the space, Start to do some nice large arm circles here. Just be mindful of what you have around you, making sure you have the space. If you're doing these arm circles, stay nice and engaged through the core, letting that movement be through the shoulders and the arms. And then the next time those, shoulders, those <laughs> uh, fingers point towards the floor, let's reverse the direction. So now we're getting into opening the front of the chest here. You might start to feel it. Doing these arm circles with me. Let's start to bring those hands to the shoulders, doing a few elbow circles. And staying nicely engaged through that core. And then dropping those arms and just doing a few shoulder rolls here. Inhale, drawing those shoulders up towards the ear. Exhale, bringing them back and down. Let's do one more. And then letting those shoulders be nice and relaxed towards the floor, a nice openness across the front of the chest. Letting those arms dangle, those palms face forward, noticing that also helps open up the front of the chest here. And just take a moment as you feel the shoulders, maybe noticing any heat or sensation that has been generated there. And as we've warmed up this part of the body, we're now going to do a nice stretch for the front of the chest. So that involves either a door frame or a wall. So hopefully you have one or the other in your space. Every room has a door frame, so <laughs> typically that will work. I'll show the version of the door frame first, and then I'll do the other side of the wall so you see both ways. But if you're going to use the door frame, you're going to take one hand out from the shoulder and place it on the inside of the door frame. And imagine you're standing at an invisible wall. Start to pivot yourself slowly away from that wall. Now that might look like a 90 degree angle, or it might be more of a 45 degree angle, depending on how much stretch you want through that front of the chest. So again, listening to the body, tuning into that. And if you found you've gone a little too far and it feels a little too much of an intense stretch, just backing off slightly. But once you feel a nice amount of stretch, take that hand to the belly, 
When you let the eyes drop closed, let's take three deep breaths here. And then letting those eyes flutter open, pivoting yourself back towards your wall or imaginary wall, releasing that arm down, giving it a gentle shake. And then just taking a moment as you tune into the one that is our, the side that's already been stretched versus the other side. So I would love to pause in between sides just to notice what is this posture offering us. And when you're ready, let's sit up for the other side. So I'll just show this version with the wall. So if you're using a wall, you're going to come to the wall, extend that arm out from the shoulder, just like you did if you did the door frame. And then once again, now you're actually pivoting away from an actual wall. As far as feels comfortable for that stretch on the other side. Again, knowing you can back off. You can also play around with the angle of that extended arm, seeing what feels best for your body as well. And again, once you feel like you have a nice amount of stretch, a comfortable position to spend three breaths, taking the opposite hand to the belly. Three nice breaths here. When you're ready, letting your eyes flutter open, gently pivoting yourself back towards the wall, releasing that arm, gently giving it a shake. And once again, just pausing for a moment in stillness as you just tune into how the front of the chest is feeling at this point. And then if those eyes have dropped closed, opening them, interlock those fingers, take an inhale as we flip those palms up overhead. Exhale, release, let the arms float down. Interlock the hands behind the lower back, gently draw the arms away from the body. As you exhale, soften those shoulders away from the ears. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Now keep a little micro bend through the elbows. And if this is a comfortable position, coming to the top of the mat, take an inhale to lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, hinge at those hips, bend through those knees as needed, and come into a forward fold with the hands by the lower back. Now you can choose to keep them here, or maybe you're gonna to start to float those hands towards the front of the room, letting gravity help further open up the front of the chest here. Soft bend through those elbows, especially if you're hyper-flexible, letting the stretch be through the front of the chest and the front of the shoulders. Take one more full breath here. And then gently allow those hands to float back to the lower back, release them, slide them down the legs, bringing them to the mat so we can step both feet back into downward dog or an inverted V position. Take an inhale here as you exhale, bring the knees to the mat, bring the hips towards the heels, staying upright and then sliding the legs out in front. And we're gonna make our way onto our spine. When you're ready, sliding yourself down. Once you connect the back with the mat, take those knees in towards the chest and extend the arms out from the shoulders, like at the top of a T, if you imagine making that shape with the body. You can keep the arms extended, or maybe as we've opened up the front of the chest, it feels comfortable to bend at the elbows, making little cactus arms. So those fingers are now pointing towards the back of the room. Keep those knees in towards the chest, take an inhale. And as you exhale, let those knees gently fall over towards the right as you come into a reclined spinal twist. Now it can be an easy twist as those knees are further away from that right elbow. Or if you're feeling more like a deeper twist, you might 
Allow those knees to come closer towards the right elbow, wiggling those hips a little bit toward the left edge of the mat to make the hips, thighs, and knees stack more evenly on top of each other. You can keep the gaze towards the ceiling, or maybe you're going to take it over towards that left elbow as you take a nice deep breath in and out here. With your next inhale, engage your core, draw the knees and maybe the head back in line with the spine. And on the exhale, let the knees fall to the left, coming into spinal twist in the opposite direction, making any adjustments that allows us to be as comfortable as possible. Settling in with the head in line with the spine for a breath. And then maybe taking that gaze over towards the right elbow for another breath. And then when you're ready with your next inhale, engage the core, knees and head come back in line with the spine. Give yourself a hug with the arms around the knees, gentle rock from side to side. Allowing yourself to come back to stillness and then Taking those feet to the floor, letting the arms be by the sides of the hips. Palms facing up towards the ceiling as you just take a couple of breaths here, tuning into how those shoulders and the chest are feeling now at the end of this short practice. And then when you feel ready, getting yourself up to a seated position to make your way into the rest of your day. Namaste.